We have a new addition arriving in a second. And this is the culprit of why we've got a new addition coming. It's not like buying shoes, mother. It's a lot more expensive. It's a lot more expensive than buying shoes. <laughs> it's a good job one of us is. Sprout had a haircut, by the way, everyone. Doesn't she look? Amazing! Do you want a friend, Dexter? Can you let me out? <laughs> this is petrified. That was going to be so funny on the video. <laughs> Olivia, where am I? Where are you, King Solomon? Oh, yummy hay. You've got to get used to this filming stuff. What's this? Not for two years. Oh no, he'll still be in them. What's this? Come on, this is your intro to YouTube life. Okay. So this is Solomon, King Solomon, and his show name is what's his show name? Stolen Bowl. Stolen Bowl, and he is by Casino Grande. Casino Grande, um, and we got him from. Michelle Dawson at Stolen Sports. Mum, you should be doing this. You're much better than me. Uh, yeah. I and always when... sound so miserable. 
There we go. I sound um, When did we buy him? Yesterday. No, not yesterday. Today. No, we decided at the regionals, didn't we, that we needed another pony. Yeah. So we bought another pony! Come here. No. So anyway, we will show you him going out in the field with his friends tomorrow. Well, you're going up early, are you? <laughs> Oh, there you are, we've got our help tomorrow. So Solomon is in the field with Rufus and Kipper. He was really good to turn out with them, they literally didn't care. Um, when they're this young, it's never much of a problem turning them all out together because it's just what they're meant to do in the wild. So we never have an issue. It's more when they're older and if they're not used to it. So for example, Joey hadn't been in a field, um, so he was a bit nervous and actually ran through the fence but um normally it's all gravy so let's go see him my dear friend where have you been where have you gone what did you So as you can see, the yearlings are, well it's not the prettiest stage to um, see them at, but they've got to grow. So they're all pretty bum high at the moment, um, but that's fine. I'd say yearlings and two year olds are the ugly duckling stage. And then they turn into beautiful swans, which are what is next door, the five year olds. Obviously they go three then four. Oh, here are the beautiful swans. We have to fall. This is the beat of broken hearts. Is it our last? We can go on again. Cause you seem like you want it bad. My head is spinning off the edge. And I'm giving it way too fast. So there you have it. King Solomon. Um, the plan we have for him, and it can obviously change with what goes on, but he's going to stay in the field, grow, um, play, and just be a baby until he's three and a half. And then when he's three and a half, he will go away and get broken in, where we always send our young horses to get broken in. Um, and then he'll come back, and then he'll have a holiday of about two months, just where his body kind of yeah just chills out after getting broken in and then um at four we start to get back on them and just start to play around with them like we don't put any pressure i don't i don't like putting any pressure on my four-year-old as long as they're behaving and they're going forward and they're going where i ask them to go all i care about really is giving them like good experiences so they go and do like pole work clinics um hacking they only go into school like twice a week really really easy really like low impact on them because their joints are still growing like they're still growing they're maturing um both like physically and mentally and then five 
I'd say like around five and a half is when we start to challenge them a little bit more. So the boys are now five and a half and we start to challenge them more. They're ready. They're kind of wanting that. They want to be challenged. They, you find they start to get a little bit bored. So that's when you like up their work. Um, and it just happens all really like organically, slowly. Um, Cause we've done a few of them now. So that's kind of the routine that we really like to do. Um, so that's what he'll follow the same routine. Um, and then, yeah, we, the reason we bought him is because we think he has the potential to be a Grand Prix horse. Um, but you never know, like you literally never know. So, um, yeah, we're just going to train him up the levels, see how we go. Um, the plan is to keep him. So yeah, um, that is King Solomon's plan. And you guys get to follow his journey. You've seen him from day one of arriving. Um, yeah, and we'll just keep following the journey. But I wanted to add some pictures of him when he was a foal. And I actually have a picture of him when he was in his mummy's belly, which is really cute. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the vlog, guys. But here are the pictures. Way too fast, way too fast We can't go on